Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about Kubernetes. Kubernetes is developed by Google and it is an open source platform that automates container operations. It eliminates many of the manual processes involved in deploying and scaling containerized applications. After going through this tutorial, I promise you that the concept and understanding of the Kubernetes will be absolutely clear to you. But before that, let me ask you a few things. Are you dreaming of a career with higher pay and more responsibilities? Or are you ready to take your skills to the next level this year? Then start investing in DevOps School certification level courses, which will help you to emerge skills for a wide range of entry level roles and as well as higher potential future positions. But with thousands of courses online and in classroom worldwide, finding the right one for your career goals can be difficult. You can consider our courses like Agile Developer, Agile QA, DevOps Certified Professionals, Site Reliability Engineering, DevSecOps and Masters in DevOps Engineering where you will have access to well-structured, easy-to-follow course content that has been developed and will be delivered by industry professionals. You can join on our training programs globally through online platforms and if you are looking for classroom workshops then we have regular sessions available in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Chennai, Delhi NCR, Mumbai and in Pune. Simply compare our many courses, find the one that suits your style and schedule best and start today. Okay, so now I'm setting up uh, EKS. Now this is a little bit of straightforward process and please look at it very carefully. So first thing, some, some of the prerequisite we have to do. Uh, now, by the way, EKS is available only in the few selected region. Mumbai is the reason where EKS is available, but recently had got introduced, I think six months or so. Okay. So this is the service which is created EKS, Elastic Kubernetes Service. But before that, we have to install some of the prerequisite stuff like that. So what I will do, I'll create one particular node. So rather than before that, I should open up the official documents. So set up EKS cluster. Now this documents we can follow. So creating Amazon EKS cluster. Okay. Now creation is not difficult, but some of the prerequisite things we have to do, and that is important. So by the way, there's a two ways to set up a EKS. One of these like uh, you can use through EKS CTL, or you can do through AWS uh, Management Console also. So these are the ways you can do that. So now let's get started. So look at this here this there are two there are two getting started guide available for creating a new kubernetes eks uh, cluster with the nodes in eks one is like a eks ctl if you want to use that or if you want to do the console then you can use this one i'm using the console because that way you will have a little bit of visualization uh, in eks ctl everything will be done by the command line so that's automation that's a good way but yeah uh, console, I think it will be more friendly for you guys. Yeah. Now, some of the prerequisite we have to do, you have to install the AWS CLI. So, how can we install the AWS CLI? So, let's get started. So, I am installing the AWS CLI using this command. So, this is my I, I bet better I'll get one new system actually. So because I don't want to destroy the current setup. You can install a uh, AWS uh, Linux so that you know you can you don't need to install C right? What is that? We can go ahead with the AWS based image. I mean Linux, Amazon Linux. Yes, yes. Uh, just again, give me two seconds. I don't want to destroy, destroy my setup because Ingress Lab is pending. So if I destroy my current setup, it will be bad for us. Again, we'll lose time. 
So I am creating one small instance. And this is for the workstation purpose. So one CPU, two GB RAM, eight GB. That's okay. And this is a EKS workspace workstation. Firewall, no. Now by select. Now, I, in my portal also, EK setup documents is there, but uh, every three to four months they have a complete uh, different different changes, so those probably might not work. So this is my machine which I'm trying to log in. Let me close all remaining things. Okay, send to us. Okay, so now I will just install some of the tools as instruction. So this is the command. I am just running it one by one. So first I have to download this zip file unzip this there's no unzip so yum install unzip hyphen y Now, unzip this. And after that, go inside this and sorry, run it. So, installation run, done. Now, AWS hyphen hyphen version is not set, but you can run full path and this is done so yep it's installed now uh, so this is done now this is okay which version i have i think three that's okay so no upgrade is required now you have to configure the aws cli now, AWS CLI for for what reason? For accessing purpose. So now let's uh, get set it up. So you can set it up this one. So for that, I will go IM here IM and here. I am using one of the user for EKS. 
group there's a one group i might have uks group here it is this group i'm having all the required access already added previous training let me check if it is there uh, there's only one thing is added but anyways i will add more if needed so right now i am adding one user sorry that, that was not a right group i clicked wait a second so i think i should have clicked eks i clicked on ec2 uh, yeah this is the right one so these are the policies i needed you will get on the documents actually if you read it carefully so okay and if i need more i have to add it because this group i created uh two two years three years back so it's been used so far so now i'm using this programmatic access and console access and auto generated password or something let me have auto generated password and i will select this eks user tag is not important and create user now this documents i will maintain it separately it's getting created taking time yeah so now this is a secret key this is the secret password and i will store all of it here okay now this is done eks is the user now with that close this now i'm going to set this up client so let's set it up uh, first, I will add this one into the export export uh, export path is equal to dollar path and done. AWS hyphen version done. So now I'm going to configure it. AWS configure. Now, what is the ID? ID is this one. What is the key? Is this one. What is the reason? The reason is this one. Okay. So I set it up. Done. Now this this work is done. Okay. JSON I did not set it up, so I can go here. Vi dot aws where i am vi user home dot aws configure and just a second hold on Rajesh, i think the region should be just ap uh, south not a region equal to this just a second. hold on json json no no you're updating for okay. region now region should be api in south oh, one not okay. uh, but you copied along with the uh, region equal to Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Should be this one. And J S O N. J S O N. Done. So this is the typical setup you do. After that, you have to. Uh, this is done. Okay. Now 
I got this one install and configure QCTL. Now you have Mac also Linux also Windows also. I'm installing the through Linux so I will do this. So this is the command line to download QCTL. So I think I will change the location first here and QCTL. Now now after this verification is not needed that's okay change the permissions and finally you move to user local pin and can i check this qctl is installed or not done so this is also done now uh, you have to this is done this is done uh, okay so now which is the client version i think it's 1.18 so 1.17 so see here this is the latest version that means 1.18 is not supported for eks okay that means right now eks only support with 1.17 because they have this the version which i installed is from the aws website now you have to do create your eks cluster iam role now this iam role you want to create through the console or cloud formation it's up to you so it's, you can go through this one also you can go through this one also i feel uh, this is a cloud formation script will be much simpler uh, to do that so which one way you comfortable do you know uh, the cloud sorry, formation? your voice is cracking uh, we can hear proper connection is same story it looks like you're not able to hear us yeah i can hear you augustine guys for everyone is problem no okay. no i can hear no, you, able to hear you. no it just it uh, fluctuating yeah okay uh yeah so here uh, which one you are comfortable you tell me cloud formation or uh, console go ahead with console uh, yeah because most so of the people will not know the cloud formation yeah so here you have to go to the im again and create a role now guys if you understand the role a role is basically for the inter services authentications okay so i'm going to create a role as per the things okay still loading I think this rule I might have created in the past. So let me check that. I'll just use that. Uh, the name of the rule is EKS. It should be. So EKS. Uh, I think I have it. I created this one EKS long ago, I guess. So uh, others, let's create new one because if, if some changes will be there, then it's a problem. I don't want to troubleshoot later on the time. So this time here, now which services you want? So here roles, create a role, choose EKS from the list of services. So here I have to use the EKS from the list of services. So search EKS, where is that? Here it is, click here. And this is the allow EKS cluster to manage on behalf. EKS clusters, lots of permission is there. So I'll go for the EKS and here EKS cluster second one this one and next permission. Okay, so after this you if you want to give the tag and all stuff like that then do that now what permission so that's permission this is okay. Uh, this permission is selected and next tag tag is not needed. Now, what is the name of this EKS 2020? I'll put it up so that way I'll remember it. So create a role. So I created a role now EKS 2020. Okay, so this is done. And with that, create a role is done. By the way, here role name they suggested me to keep it EKS or cluster role. 
name is not a problem you can keep it any name but maybe in future cloud formation script if they are using this name and i'm using that name i have to change it to avoid the problem what i'll do i'll rename this so for that uh where to rename it that's the problem i think you cannot rename this yeah let let it be rename. okay so i'll remember it yeah so now what do you have to do this is simple create your eks cluster so you have to go to the eks services which i have here and eks okay click here after this preparation is done role has been given you have to just remember the role eks 2020 okay so now you have to give the cluster name again i would read it because many times they change the steps so see here this section will go to the bps subnet this that and all and for more information vps subnet click this one so create a cluster you go to this okay they are creating create your vpc okay they, before that eks they, they are creating vpc so for that we have to go to the cloud formation cloud formation click here now there is one url they have shared you have to run it okay create a stack whatever the name you want to give it this this is one this will create entire vpc one with one private and public summit okay if you want to change those stuff you can do that very well okay so so create a stack now from the s this one aws amazon s3 url here it is now click next and after this still is loading actually huh. now ek tech name so what should be the name for it so i think they have a suggestion here and suggestion is stake name should be this one though name can be anything but if you follow this one then you'll have a less you know checking out everything so now these are the vpc block which is set by default i'll go with it public private block you can see if you want to set set the cid or your of your preferences you can do that by the way this is a uh, the eks network is managed by aws so you don't have anything to say over there now yep i selected tag if you wanted to do that so bpc block public block this is done this is done this is done option next review create so nothing great about it and permission here you have to select the permission that's important so permission here stake name so they are not giving this permission here but okay i'll just continue with it click next and all this thing okay and create check one more time i'll value because they were they're supposed to tell me that should add it the rule should be added but it's not saying to me so this is done 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 okay so it's not required anymore so create stack so now we will have created a vpc entire vpc it will take around 8 to 10 minutes to create you have created vpc one internet gateway one nat gateway one two route table two subnet and like that one eip so like this if you want to check that code you can copy this code and download this and you can check this code cloud formation script did you understand this guys any questions in between thanks for watching if you like dark humanity session so far please enroll for our channel membership 399 plan to get access of all the parts Along with that, you can access our other tutorials such as Docker, Ansible, Jenkins, Terraform, Splunk, AWS, Azure, and various other DevOps-related premium tutorials with our channel membership. 
If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, we will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.